But a colleague had asked me about uh, how to use uh, the Tektronix arbitrary function generator to generate this kind of double pulse where uh, we have one pulse whose pulse width can be varied followed by a second pulse after a fixed delay and a certain pulse width so that the only thing that's variable here is this pulse width uh, but we want these two things to kind of be fixed or adjustable but then you know maybe fix, fix them later on but don't make them a function of this pulse width so there's a way to do it, it's a little bit tricky but uh, so I figured I'd do a little video on it to kind of show how it's done so uh, here's the arbitrary function generator AFG3000 and uh, what we're going to do is take advantage of a couple of uh, tricks uh, we're, this is a two channel model uh, we're going to use some add inputs and some triggering and things like that. So what we're going to do is set up channel 1. Okay, Channel 1 is set up in a pulse, a continuous mode. I just arbitrarily set up a 10 kilohertz repetition interval and a pulse width we can kind of adjust right down here. Okay, And that sets up this pulse width right here. So this is we're looking at the output of channel 1 here. Okay. So if I go and uh, I adjust the width of this pulse, okay, you can actually see the width of that pulse being adjusted independent of anything else. Okay, so that's all just done on channel one the normal way you would set that up. Okay, but then what we're doing is taking channel one and also routing it through a T into the trigger input, and we're going to use that to trigger uh, a burst mode on channel two. Okay, so if I go to channel two setup. So we can choose channel 2 is also set up as a pulse, but this time in burst mode, okay? And uh, so if we look at the pulse parameters, I've just got a 100 kilohertz repetition interval, doesn't really, that's kind of arbitrary. You can set up the pulse width, you know, to what you want it to be. So if I set the width on that and look down here, I can adjust the width of that pulse independently, okay, by adjusting that parameter, okay? But then also, um, it's in burst mode, so if we go to burst mode here, I've got it set up to burst one cycle, and then on the second page menu, I've got it set up to be externally triggered using the negative edge. So we're going to trigger on the negative edge of channel one, right? Because that's what's coupled into the trigger input. So we trigger on the negative edge that's coming from channel one using the external trigger, and by setting the trigger delay, that guy right there, okay, we can adjust the time difference from the falling edge to when that pulse occurs. Okay, so the signal routing is this. So I've got channel one, which is my my output, is coupled in here into the trigger input, and then this coax just comes down to channel one, and that's what we're looking at here. Channel two is creating just that second pulse that's occurring after here. That's what this that's this pulse right here. I've got it routed from the channel two output down around to the back to the add input right here. Okay, so that's channel one add. So the way we enable that is if you go to the top menu and select output menu, okay, and select channel one, okay, uh, down here at the bottom you can see we have add input turned on. So if I turn that off, we can see that goes away, turn add input in, it comes back on. So we're basically just adding in this little pulse that's coming from channel two. Uh, into the channel 1 output. The other thing we've got to do when we're setting up the channel 2 pulse then is ensure that the low voltage is equal to zero so that during its off time it doesn't add anything to the baseline. And you've got to play with the amplitudes to get everything lined up but that's how you set up this, uh, this situation where you want to you know, vary you know, maybe the, the pulse width of the second pulse independent of the pulse width of the first pulse okay, and then also be able to set up the delay independent of either of those pulse widths. So uh, that's how you set it up. Hope you uh, found this helpful.